Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail camera, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows, and strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. In the dense forests of northwestern Alberta, Canada, there's an unsettling tale about a hiker who vanished. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no one knows what really happened. In this video, the hiker sets out to explore the northwestern Alberta wilderness. He shares that local residents have been whispering about odd happenings in these woods. Currently up in the woods due to, well, what the town's been talking about, how there's been some weird occurrences. I'm here in the forest, drawn by the rumors from town about some strange events, he says. Suddenly, Oh God. A chilling growl-like scream pierces the air. This spine-tingling noise makes the hiker anxious, fearing that something menacing might be lurking nearby. Spooked, he starts to run. As he hurries away, the camera picks up sounds of twigs breaking, hinting at something heavy chasing after him. After a short while, he stops, trying to catch his breath. But that same frightening noise fills the air again. Okay, I'm not like this. Oh, shit. I can't. Pushing him into a panic sprint, he says, This isn't good. Tragically, while trying to escape, he trips, collapsing to the ground, panting heavily. The camera angle then shifts, pointing to the canopy above. The sounds of heavy, resonant footsteps grow louder. The screen fades to black, but not before an alarming sound is heard. Was it the sound of twigs snapping? Or was it something more sinister? Perhaps the hiker's very bones? This remains a chilling, unsolved mystery. A YouTube video from Overwatch Security and Viral Hog has got people talking, and it's all because of a mysterious event caught on body cam footage. In the video, you can see a man sitting on a bench facing the ocean. It's a calm scene, and everything appears normal at first. The sky is dark and gloomy, and the sound of the waves adds to the tranquility of the scene. But then, out of nowhere, something extraordinary happens. A bright light suddenly appears in the sky, descending and leaving behind a trail of fire. It's a startling sight, and it instantly transforms the scene from an ordinary night at the beach into something mysterious and unsettling. The man in the video doesn't react. He doesn't jump up, or even seem to acknowledge what's happening in front of him. He just sits there, as if this bright fiery object in the sky is something he sees every day. Viewers of the video, on the other hand, have had a lot to say about it. Some believe that what they're seeing is an alien spacecraft descending to Earth. Others think it might be a meteor or some other natural phenomenon. But there's something else that's added to the debate, and it's this. The bright object in the sky doesn't seem to have a reflection on the water. This has led some to argue that the whole thing might be a hoax. A clever bit of video manipulation designed to get people talking. 
The uploader of the video hasn't said much about it, adding to the mystery. They haven't explained what they think it is, or given any clues as to whether it's real or fake. So what's really going on in this video? Is it a genuine sighting of something extraordinary? Or a clever piece of fakery? The debate continues, and the video continues to capture the imagination of those who watch it. For our next video, we head back to Canada, a little distance away from Kanur, Ontario to be exact. This area is known for the Lake of the Woods. It's a popular spot for hikers, kayakers and fishermen alike, and it's quite beautiful I've heard. However, after seeing this footage I'm not sure I'm going to be planning a trip anytime soon. Take a look at these tracks in the mud. I don't need to tell you what creature they belong to. There's only one creature that makes barefoot human-like tracks of an unnaturally large size. These particular set of tracks were found by a fisherman who was hiking to a secluded fishing spot in the area. He followed the tracks for a few meters but they disappeared into the woods. He saw no sign of the creature, but its footprints were proof enough. An estate sale, often referred to as a tag sale, is a widely recognized method for swiftly and efficiently selling off personal belongings. A photograph shared by an estate sale hobbyist recently caught the public's attention. The image was captured during such a sale, showcasing the possessions of an elderly couple who had passed away. Yet, it's not just the items for sale that drew attention, but an unsettling figure visible in the doorway. This figure appears semi-transparent, bound in chains, and doesn't have any clearly distinguishable features. Given its ghostly appearance and the history of the location, speculation began to swirl. The uploader mentioned that the area once housed a slave plantation. This revelation prompted many to wonder if the figure in the photograph might represent a slave, perhaps in the midst of an escape attempt. When this photograph made its way online, reactions were mixed. Some immediately brushed it off, suggesting the photo had been altered or doctored. Yet, others felt that the image looked genuine, lending credence to its haunting nature. I'm interested in what you guys think. Do you believe in the eerie figure lurking in the background, or do you think it's just a product of digital manipulation? This capture is just a cool image. This picture is of a black bear breaking into a bear hang, or perhaps even some bear bait. Bears can easily stand on two legs for long periods of time, and they are able to walk like humans can. Bigfoot encounters are often written off as bear sightings, which might be plausible from a distance. But if you've ever seen how awkward a bear is on two legs, you would know they aren't the source of the Bigfoot videos we so often see here. While not a cryptid, this bear sighting is still impressive in its own right. It's not every day that we get to see an up-close image of such an impressive predator. A captivating video surfaced on Reddit, causing quite a stir among its viewers. This video showcases a peculiar event during a nighttime lightning storm and has given rise to intense speculation and discussion within the Reddit community. Although the person who shared this footage on Reddit isn't the original recorder, they figured the amount of people that use the platform might offer some insights into the baffling occurrences displayed in the clip. In the video, a lightning bolt can be seen eerily suspended on the horizon. Out of the blue, an unrecognizable object seems to plummet from the sky. This particular sighting has triggered a wave of discussions about UFOs, and led some to wonder if extraterrestrials might use lightning storms as refueling stations for their spacecraft. When the video is zoomed in and the brightness adjusted, it becomes evident that this mysterious object is rotating while it descends towards Earth. This has compelled several viewers to recall the classic War of the Worlds, drawing comparisons between the two. However, opinions about the footage are deeply divided. While some firmly believe in its extraterrestrial connection, others remain skeptical. A number of users speculate that the object could simply be a raindrop on a windowpane, 
causing an optical illusion that makes it seem as though something is tumbling from the sky in the distance. Contrary to this, a Reddit user counters this theory by pointing out, it looks to me like it appears from behind the dark clouds. There's no other moisture in the window and no visible water trail left behind, as a drip might leave running down a window. The online debate rages on, with countless theories and conjectures being thrown into the mix. Yet, as discussions unfold and more and more people share their viewpoints, the true identity of this mysterious object in the video continues to elude us. An unusual piece of security footage posted on social media, capturing the attention and imagination of many. This intriguing video left viewers not only deeply curious, but also a tad unnerved. A user on Twitter was the first to share this footage. And quickly, claims began circulating that it might just be evidence of a ghost caught on camera. The footage doesn't provide any indication of where it was captured, adding to its mystique. However, one detail is clear. The timestamp on the video reads 5.06 AM. In the dim light of early dawn, something truly peculiar happens. A figure, almost out of the blue, appears to materialize from the side of a parked car. Here's where it gets even more baffling. The car's door never opens. This has left many people scratching their heads, trying to fathom a logical explanation for the sudden, eerie appearance of this entity. But it's not just the mysterious emergence of the figure that has caught viewers' eyes. It's the figure itself. The shape seems to be somewhat transparent lending more weight to the idea that it could indeed be a spectral presence. This transparency has intensified the discussions and debates around the footage, fueling speculations and ghostly theories. As the video continues to rack up views online, it has spurred a heated debate regarding its legitimacy. The divide is clear. While some firmly believe that this could be undeniable proof of the paranormal, others are more skeptical. Critics and doubters point to various potential explanations. Some believe that camera malfunctions, like glitches, might be the culprits. Others have suggested that light reflections, given the early hour of recording, could be causing optical illusions. And of course, in today's digital age, there's always the possibility of skillful editing or manipulation. An intriguing document has made its way back into the spotlight on the internet. This document recounts a purported encounter between a military unit stationed in Siberia and an unidentified flying object, commonly known as a UFO. As expected, the document has sparked a wide range of reactions. Many users on the platform are skeptical, questioning whether the document is authentic. On the other hand, there are those who are deeply captivated by the chilling narrative it presents. So, what does this mysterious document actually reveal? According to its contents, U.S. intelligence came into possession of a detailed 250-page report about an unusual incident that supposedly occurred in Siberia. This report paints a vivid picture. During a routine training exercise, a military unit observed a saucer-shaped UFO hovering low in the sky above them. Things took a turn for the dramatic when a surface-to-air missile was fired at the UFO, causing it to crash nearby. The tale doesn't end there. From the wreckage of this crashed object, five small humanoid beings described as having oversized heads and deep black eyes made their appearance. In an unexpected twist, these humanoids then converged and merged into a singular spherical entity. Moments later, this entity exploded in a bright burst of light. This explosion, as the document claims, had a bizarre and horrifying effect. 23 soldiers who were observing the phenomenon were inexplicably transformed into stone-like pillars. Miraculously, two soldiers who had sought refuge in the shade and were less exposed to the blinding explosion remained unaffected. Continuing its narrative, the document suggests that both the remains of the UFO and these petrified soldiers were discreetly moved to a concealed research facility located near Moscow. Now, the million dollar question remains. Is there any truth to this astounding story? 
While a number of Reddit users remain dubious about the authenticity of the document, its resurgence has undoubtedly rekindled discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The realness of the document and the events it chronicles are still subjects of debate. Our next submission is a clip from a trail cam taken in the Arizona desert. By all appearances, we are looking at an alien being. The creature matches the description of encounters with aliens known as greys. They are described as having pale skin and humanoid characteristics. They are often popular features of modern stories of alien encounters and abductions. But are they real? And could this be an authentic video capture of one? If aliens, such as greys, have advanced enough technology to make contact with humans, it would make sense that they would be able to keep their identity secret. So why is this one standing directly in front of a camera? Odds are that we are looking at an edited video, but that doesn't necessarily mean that aliens don't exist. There have been too many alien encounters with eerily similar characteristics to discredit them entirely. But what do you think? Have you ever had an experience with a creature you believe to be from another planet? Tell your stories in the comments. We have a trail cam that caught something unexpected. Look closely at the black creature moving across the screen. At first it looks like a house cat. But when we watch the video further and the creature gets closer to the camera, we can see it's anything but. This majestic animal is a black panther. The only problem, however, is that this video was taken in the hills of Kentucky. There have been a handful of sightings of panthers across the United States over the last few years, but none of them in Kentucky. Local rangers have dismissed these concerns, saying that panthers don't exist in the area, but the evidence speaks for itself. The popular theory is that these aren't black panthers at all, but rather a melanistic mutation of the mountain lion. As we know, black panthers are melanistic jaguars and leopards, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched for the same mutation to occur in a mountain lion. These creatures are certainly native to the U.S., but we have yet to find real-life evidence of the mutation so far. Let me know your thoughts on the black panther of Kentucky. Also, if you think it's strange, we haven't seen more of them. I feel like there was one in Mississippi a few years back. The internet is abuzz once again with a mysterious video that has captivated audiences for years. This video has made a comeback after a user uploaded it on TikTok. At the heart of this video is what seems to be a regular classroom, possibly located somewhere in South America. To the casual observer, nothing seems out of the ordinary at first. However, as the footage continues, there's a palpable shift in the atmosphere. Inexplicably, objects that should remain still start moving around the room, almost as if they have a life of their own. Gradually, this activity escalates. Becoming more pronounced and unsettling. For many, the video is compelling evidence of a poltergeist or some other paranormal phenomenon. This isn't the first time such claims have been made, and the recent resurgence of this video has reignited discussions and debates about popular urban legends, specifically tales of schools haunted by overworldly entities. Across various cultures and communities, Stories of haunted educational institutions have intrigued and sometimes frightened people for generations. These stories have been passed down among students, faculty, and locals, each adding their own spin or interpretation. Some of these tales recount the restless spirits of former students or teachers, forever bound to the school's hallways. Others speak of malevolent beings, entities that seem to have an attachment to the very grounds of the educational institutions. In many instances, these tales can be traced back to tragic events, accidents, untimely deaths, or forgotten chapters in the school's history. These stories, grounded in real events, often carry a weight of authenticity 
that's hard to dismiss. Yet, in other cases, the origins are less clear. They could simply be the result of vivid imaginations, embellished over the years and passed down as a rite of passage among new students. An online blogger shared a captivating photo of an elderly woman dressed in plaid. What's particularly interesting are the two luminous orbs above her head. Upon closer examination, the woman appears slightly translucent, evoking an ethereal aura. The photo was taken at a historical site in Tennessee known for its rich history. Some theorize that the image may be tied to events or figures from past, given the site's storied background. During the 17th and 18th centuries, the southern states of the U.S., from Maryland and Virginia to Georgia, were hubs of agricultural activity, especially in tobacco, rice, and indigo cultivation. Many individuals, including those from Africa, were part of this labor force, contributing to the booming industries. This image stands out not just for its enigmatic elements, but also as a reflection of America's layered history. It underscores the contributions and challenges faced by countless individuals in the development of the country. Have a look at this still image captured from a trail cam in the forest of Oregon. What is that creature climbing the tree with its back to the camera? It appears to be hairless, but unlike the raccoon with mange we saw in the previous clip, this creature has the skin of reptile. Its back looks like that of a large monitor lizard, but the limbs are far too long. The skin looks irritated, almost like raw chicken. We can't see the creature's face, making it impossible to identify it from this angle. If we are indeed looking at an authentic image, there are no known giant reptiles that inhabit the Oregon woods. Could this be someone's escaped pet? That certainly wouldn't be the first time that has happened. Alternatively, We've been getting some reports over the last few years of large, unknown reptile species being sighted in the wilderness. Granted, most of these sightings have been in the southwest. It is possible they have expanded their range, 